Geef hem echt een groot applaus. Het is een wereldster, Dominique Corbio. Kom op, kom op. Times we were on the Belgian television. Um, in, in the, the, in, um, here in, 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 in the Flemish part is, is the first time. It's the first yeah, time. So thank I you. I speak fluent French. I speak not French. We're going to speak English because as a Netherlands, you don't speak so good in no, Dutch. No, I'm afraid. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> I will speak English, but my, my English is much better than my French is. Um, how, how do you call your voice? In the Netherlands, we call it uh, the castrat. No, it, there is a little details. Um, that 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 is missing with castratos and it's not my case. Okay, what? Oh, yeah, no, because Fortunately. Nee, the castrat so has to do with, with the bulls. Yeah, but, but it's important, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How do you so call... So it's countertenor. Oh, countertenor. Yeah. And when did you discover that you were a countertenor? Um, actually, I started as a um, um, boy um, in, a, in a boy boy choir, yeah. as a boy soprano. Yeah. And um, I discovered um, Stabat Mater. It's a very famous piece of Baroque period. It's a wonderful music. And it's, it's the first time I've heard a concertenor voice. Yeah. And uh, I had an um, aesthetic shock. Yeah. And um, I really wanted to, to sing that music and to have that voice. So you have to study then for the countertenor to sing yeah. higher than normal? Um, I, actually, I didn't stop to sing. So um, when my teacher told me, just wait, because your voice must change, I, I continue to sing, and so I, I keep the ability to sing high notes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, can you now, now we're talking, you have a very low and beautiful voice, mm -hmm. but when, can you sing, can you say something in the same high you do with singing? It's not that interesting, I think. Why not? <laughs> like, um, um, who in the yeah, that's, that's really that's really beautiful. Uh, now you make no, no, that's nice to hear because it's a technique. You yeah. use a technique, yeah. and uh, because when I say "Goedenavond," I can't reach the, yeah. the height you can. Yeah, 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 that's right. And normally, if you have a very low um, uh, speaking voice, you can reach high notes. It's it's it seems strange because normally it it should be the opposite. But the bass natural bass voice. Um, has the ability to sing very high, yeah. it's like that, because yeah. the, the vocal cords are long and thin. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's you a live, bit technical. But. You live now in, in Paris, and yeah. um, you made your third album with the Scalati, the yeah. music of Scalati, very beautiful Baroque composer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now you're going to sing something completely different, Carpe yes. Diem. Yes, exactly. I'm, um, I, it's, it's a wonderful music, it's, it's Baroque music, because um, uh, even in Memoria, the, the, the piece I'm, I'm, I will sing, it's it's about you know the, the music uh, played in a church, so and and Scarlatti wrote a lot of beautiful melodies. So even people who don't don't uh, are not used to listen to Baroque music, they will appreciate Scarlatti because yeah. it's so easy to to listen to. Yeah, yeah. Please take your Thank stand you. uh, behind the micro. He wordt begeleid natuurlijk door Miguel, want dat kan hij ook. Maar ook op uh, op cello Karel Steilaerts. Gaat u luisteren naar het mooie prachtige nummer Dominique Corbio Carpe Diem. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dominic Carvalho, dankjewel, dankjewel.